hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and this is same series of you know clean architecture with sqrs and mediator pattern and in this series actually we we are trying to implement of you know, our application layer so in this application layer actually in last session we we have implement of get blocks query okay and in this get blocks query actually we have to you know map with the domain entity to our view model directly uh, with the help of link you query okay so this is a not a right way actually right way is a you know there's another approach is the i mapper so instead of this we'll use the i mapper and we'll you know map our domain entity to our view model entity okay so how we can do that so that will do in this session so before I start in this series and if you visit first time in my blog so I'll especially recommend to you go to my YouTube channel and see the videos section if you go to my video section so yeah this is a clean architecture you know series so there's a part one part two part three so you can watch first this one and then proceed to this one okay also if you go to playlist you will see that you know clean architecture with the sqrs pattern and mediator this is advanced series of clean architecture also we have I, I, I have created also that you know basic clean architecture okay okay so let's get started to implement that i mapper so what need to do actually see i already create a structure of that you know clean architecture in the application layer and in this application layer i have already you know create a common and inside the common in the mapping so whatever the mappings we have to do in this clean architecture we have to do we have to keep inside this mappings folder okay so let me create an interface okay not a class it should be interface so let me name it to i map from interface okay so make it to public okay and it should be a generic because i'll create a i mapper which is just generic so that i can use i can use any entity okay and uh, what need to do i need to create a uh, one declaration on this interface it is called mapping and inside the mapping we'll use that profile we'll pass the profile and this profile will just assign to profile whatever profile profile dot will create a map and inside the map will map actually me mapping so just type of whatever object will get okay so this is a generic entity and then get type whatever get type over there okay so this is done for I map from interface okay let me implementation let me do the implementation okay so how we can do that just create a class okay the class call it to mapping profile okay so let me create that uh, mapping profile class and just need to inherit of that profile 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 class okay and we need to create you know we have to create uh, you know we have to create one method okay first yeah one first we have to create a you know constructor okay and just remove the byte namespace okay and just we have to we have to we have to do some logic okay so that whatever object will get from that entity so we will map we be actually using the reflection we'll extract the property and value and then we'll map over here okay so that logic we have to write return so let me create private void and just give it to name like for example apply mapping from assembly okay and pass it to the parameter call is assembly and we'll have to do some logic over here okay so let me copy paste because there is a huge line of code to you know to do these things okay so yes yeah, see first we have to type cast 
type cast of that you know interface and then we have to trying to mapping whatever object we'll get you know in this method name and then we have to do something in the uh, the definition and these things okay and then we one by one we get the list of that is so assemblies types whatever types we get okay and then you know we create a profile argument type and then each types actually whatever the list we are getting so based on the each type actually we'll do one by one get the property and assign to convert over here okay so this is a straightforward you know implementation okay so it is a generic thing so don't worry about that just you know use and copy paste and use your application that's it okay and also it is a very straightforward nothing it's so more complex okay and uh, what need to do now just call to that method so that whenever you know calling this mapping profile so this method will call and will actually uh, you know take that assembly and just you know map to that object okay so call to apply apply assembly from that get assembly okay assembly to get assembly okay that's it control kd so that create make a you know formatting this class okay that's it and save it and just open okay and that is done for implementation of imap from okay and now how we can call this you know map and things okay so we have already you know we have already have one class of configuration service okay in this configuration service actually we already create see the auto mapper you know auto mapper uh, we have register actually auto mapper and whatever assembly so already we have uh, we have registered okay so in this case uh, we don't think we need to do anything okay we already actually registered this auto mapper assembly okay so i think that resolve the dependency we didn't do anything over here okay but yeah once we'll run and if there is an issue we'll fix it fix it okay and okay so let me call how we can you know uh, how we can call that imapper and convert to our you know domain to uh, view model okay so to that part okay first we have to inject that imapper class okay so how we can do that imapper just inject you no know, imapper okay and just create a inst create a field and just same things we have to create a initialize and then inside the constructor inject inject the imapper and just initialize okay and then what need to do just comment out this line okay and see mapper when you create a mapper and this in this mapper dot we'll call the map and inside the map or whatever uh, whatever things you want to map okay so i want to map that list of view model uh, block view model okay block view model to what is the destiny what is the source source is this okay so this is a domain see this is a domain list of you know domain entity list okay and this is a source and this is a destination okay so that's it and just we can just return this one or just create a where blog list okay see the mapping is done but one thing we have to do this is the see this is a one line it is done so every entity we can just you know uh, we can map to directly over here like this one line code okay so that is you know very nice uh, feature give us to you know imapper to you know convert to our entity okay and one more thing we have to do go to block view model okay and also in this block view model we have to add 
you know uh, that i mapper you know we have to in inherit that i map i map from that interface i map from interface and then pass it to whatever we have to do okay so we have to do like we have to convert to this view model to block model okay block entity so where is we'll get we'll get from this entity one okay see so that is done okay so let me recall what we have achieved what we have do for this you know for this mapping okay so first we have to create you know i map from you know generic entity interface okay inside this we have to create you know one mapping uh, mapping and declaration okay signature and then we have to create an implementation over here that so that whatever uh, you know assembly we get that i mapper we can extract and we can you know assign to our whatever entities we have to we have to we have to pass okay so we have done from here and then we have to do registration over this you know configuration service so that we can you know resolve the dependency whatever i mapper things we are doing okay so this line helps to actually register our dependency okay and finally in this view model we have to map to you know i map whatever our interface and we pass to which one to we have trying to map okay so this blog entity we are trying to map to this one so that's why we have just add like that okay so that is done let me try to build so that we can make sure there's no any error okay see will succeed there is a no error okay so till now that is sufficient for this session okay and next session uh, will cover this get block by id okay so thank you have a nice day